So as we head into 2024, we've seen some huge changes in this valley over the past few years. And this is gonna be the fourth year that I've made these videos, which I can't believe already. So I'd like to thank everybody that's been watching all this time, or if you just started watching, uh, I appreciate it. And I've always tried to show, you know, what the area is like, what the state is like. I've always tried to help people out with if they're gonna buy up here, what they need to look for. And I plan on continuing to do that. And one of the goals this year is I'd like to get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm getting close, I'm inching closer. So anybody, any of you that have enjoyed my videos and haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And if you have, please share my channel with somebody that it could help. Another thing I'm gonna try and do this year is I'm gonna get our newsletter going again. Uh, I've kind of slacked off on that and I'm gonna make it new and improved. I'm gonna have a deal of the week on there. I'm gonna have some photos from the state on there every week. So if you want to subscribe to that, please uh, shoot me a text, at our, text or an email at all of our contact information that's here at the end of the video and uh, I would be happy to get you on the list. I have some other big announcements too that are coming this year, so they will be announced in that newsletter, so stay tuned for that. And for those of you that are thinking about moving to Montana this year, uh, as you can see right here, there's tons of new construction going up. They've been, over the past few years, building all these apartments you see here and just trying to keep up with the growth. It's been amazing ever since the coronavirus and the show Yellowstone, what has happened to our state as far as growth. And I'm gonna go over the stats here at the end of the video to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So of the videos I did last year, there were two that had way more views than the others. The first one was about Montana's most remote spot and I was kind of joking about that. And I'll put it up above if you want to watch it, uh, if you haven't seen that one, but I kind of went around the state and showed you where the, remote, where the most remote spot in Montana is. It was kind of a joke at the end, but check it out. It was a good video. It had almost 100,000 views on it. And the most popular video that had 131,000 views was a video I did about Montana's strangest town. And I did that, I had met some friends over in North Dakota. And on the way back, I, I had researched this town. It's called St. Marie and it's crazy. And again, I'll put it up here if you want, I haven't seen that video, but um, that is a very interesting town. It's located just north of the town of Glasgow, Montana. And it's an old Air Force base and check out the video like i said if you haven't seen it it's it's quite an interesting place here in montana and again if you're thinking about moving up here this year uh what i tell everybody is if you haven't been here before it it would really behoove you to come up here and i always tell people to rent something first and if you're looking for rentals up here again you can see all these apartments that we're driving by here. These are all new. The rental situation has gotten a lot better than it was the past couple years just because they have been building all these new places. The only unfortunate thing, like I tell everybody, there's no central spot to find a rental here in Montana as far as a website goes. We don't have access to them on our MLS, so I don't know what's available. I know just as much as you. So what you have to do is you have to Google Kalispell Rentals and there'll be 10 companies or whatever there is that come up. They'll each have their own uh, list of properties that they manage. So unfortunately you have to go to every company's website and look and see what's available. Again, there's no central spot, which makes it a pain. But uh, like I said, rentals are getting a little bit easier to find now uh, with all this new construction we've had over the past few years. So now let's go take a look at the stats that we've had over the past few years and the current stats for this year. I'll do another video later on uh, once we get the final year in stats, but these will show you what's been going on the last few years and 
what I'm talking about with our growth. Let's go check it out. All right, the first thing I want you guys to look at is the median sales price since 2020. As you can see in January of 2020, it started at $280,000 and it just slowly went up and up and up and it really took off in 21, 22. And then from October 22 until September of 23, it kind of leveled off. We had that where the interest rates went up and everybody just kind of held firm and it, it really slowed down because of the interest rates. But now, as you can see, the last few months, it's been trickling up again. And now the median sales price is 460000 So that's a pretty big change from 2020 before all this craziness hit Northwest Montana. And if you're wondering if the prices are going to stay high, this chart will show you a little bit of what, what may be coming. If you look here, this is homes for sale. Again, January 2020, there were 3,322 homes for sale. And then when everybody came up to Montana, they bought up all the property and the homes went down and down and down. And they bottomed out here in February of 22, and actually in April of 22. And then they've steadily been going back up again because of the interest rates. More people are putting homes on the market and they're sitting there longer. But right now, there's 2,303 homes for sale, but that's a thousand house difference from before all of this craziness started. So that's what our lower inventory is, what's keeping the prices high. And it is, there are more homes coming on the market, but I foresee this year, if the interest rates continue to fall like they have been in the last month or so, you're going to see more demand and this is going to start going back down again. So another interesting thing, if you're looking for price per square foot, we'll go back here to January 2020. It was $147 per square foot, which was the average you know, price per sale back then. And this is the median. This is a more true number than the average because there's no outliers. This is the middle of everything that was sold. And as you can see, like in the earlier chart, it just skyrockets over the past few years and it leveled off and now it's going back up again. And now the median sales price in December of 2023 was $259 per square foot, almost a hundred or more than a hundred dollars more than it was in January, 2020. So if you want any information or if you want the app to look at properties or subscribe to my newsletter, please reach out. Our email and phone number are at the end here. And I'd be happy to help you out in any way I can if you are planning on moving up here this year. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.